By the end of this video, you will know how to make a small scene like this in your game using Unity Engine. And if you want to follow the development of this engine and receive early access, please join the Discord server, link in the description, and subscribe to this channel so you will not gonna lose any updates. So let's jump right into the video. This is the project manager window, where you can select a current project or create a new one. To create a new project, simply type the name of the project and then click in create project. After that, you can see a new window with the basic UI of the engine. Let's start by creating a new scene using the new scene button. And then we can use the right mouse button and the W, A, S and D keys to navigate around. Let's make the scene a little bit brighter by changing the sun color in the bottom left and also the ambient color. To finish this, I will change the sun position here by alternating the time of the day and the angle of the sun, also the color and the intensity. It's a little bit too bright right now because our materials are currently very metallic. So let me left click to select an object and then in the top right of the screen where I have the inspector tab, let me expand the mesh component and drag and drop the material to the material editor so that I can adjust the metallic and the roughness of this material. I can also adjust the color as I need. This is the default material, so it's important to keep it as simple as possible. I will also disable the depth of field so we can have a better visualization of our scene. If I left click to select an object, I can move it or use the shortcut W, A or R to rotate and scale the object. I can press Shift D to create a copy of this object and of course I can press delete to delete this copy. Let's import some models and make this ground a little bit more appealing. So I have here a folder with a bunch of textures and I will select one of those textures and drag and drop to inside my project. Then I'll be able to open the texture tab and see that my textures were imported successfully. Let me go ahead and create a new material for the ground and drag and drop it to material editor so I can edit it. And I will add the albedo texture and the normal map texture. And just like that, I can make my ground looks a little bit cooler than it was before. Let's keep adding some animations and objects to the scene so it's gonna be a little bit more interesting. Another thing that we can add is 3D meshes from Blender, uh, 3D Max and other DCCs. You can simply drag and drop the .blend file to the project and it will be automatically imported as all the textures that came with the .blend files and the meshes. Let me select my cube and replace its mesh to a new one that came from my .blend file. And I also replace the material to a new texture. It's important to note that I'm using a hand painted and cartoon texture, it's not a photorealistic one, but you can also use photorealistic materials because the engine will give all the support you need for physically based rendering. And just like that, you can start importing all sorts of 3D model and textures and build your scene as you want. You can also do the same thing with skeletal animations. Simply drag and drop your skeletal animation exported model into the, the engine, as long as the textures that came with it. And using the shortcut Shift A, create a new mesh and replace the mesh and the material with your character mesh and material. And in the mesh component, select an armature and an animation to play. And simple like that, you have a new animated character into your game. So let's run the game and see how this scene looks like in a standalone player. And after that, we're gonna make some scripting to make this animation works according to the user input. The first thing that I do is add a new transform and add a camera component to it so our game engine will know where to look at. Here we go, that sounds fine for the first project. So if you press F5 on your keyboard, you'll be able to launch the standalone player of Unity Engine. And simple like that, you can see everything working and going on in a standalone player. And if you add physics or a custom logic to your game, it will be executed right here. 
So let's do that. Unity Engine is programmable using a very simple and efficient scripting language that is Python. So let me select my enemy here and add a new Python component to it. And then I will create a new script called basic movement. In the asset browser, I will select my script and in the text editor tab, I will be able to edit my Python code as I want. In order to make my character run a run animation when I'm pressing W and an idle animation when I'm not, everything that I need is to get in the update of my component, the entity component, and set the proper animation whenever the player is pressing or not the key W. After that, I just have to press F5 to run the game, and when I press W, the enemy will switch to the run animation. If I release the W key, it will go back to the idle animation. Just like that, you can create all sorts of logics that you want. And of course, that's just an introduction, but you can expand this kind of logic as you want to move the enemy, create moving platforms, doors, interactions, and so on. And remember that all the assets files are held together inside the project folder. So click more, open in file explorer to see everything that you have in your project and if you go back one folder you will see a script folder that you can drag and drop to vs code sublime text and the editor that you want to make your scripts the last thing that we can do in this video is add physics to the game so let me go to the scene graph and select the plane that is our ground and add the reached body component to it after that, the only thing that we need to define in the reach the body component is the mesh. So I will just drag and drop the mesh from the mesh component to the mesh of the reached body component. After that, the ground will automatically have a default plane collider. So let me select this box, move it a little bit up and add some physics to it. So I will go ahead and add another reached body component. And as I did with the ground, I will drag and drop the mesh from the mesh component to it. And this time I will increase the mass. So this object will be dynamic and it will fall with the gravity. After that, the only thing that I need to do is press F5 and see my physics working just fine. Of course, I can duplicate this box using Shift D. So we will be able to see a better physics simulation. I will also go ahead and add the reached body component to the rock and the tower. And now you can see a better physics visualization going on with every kind of collision happening just fine. And just for fun, don't forget that the materials inside Unity Engine can be emissive materials. So in the material editor tab, you just need to increase the emission color and it will start to glow. Of course, since we have global illumination in the game engine, those emissive materials will also affect the surface nearby. You can also add more assets, play around with the scene options and post-processing and the material options such as wine shader to add more life to your scene. And just like that, we added a very interesting scene into your game. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching and if you want to follow the development of this engine and also receive early access to it, please join the Discord, link in the description and consider subscribing to this channel so you're not gonna lose any updates. I see you in the next time.